On the Health Watch now, a new study says for healthy people, aspirin should not be taken to prevent heart attacks or strokes. We will get to that story in <laughs> just a moment. But of course, here we are. Meteorologist yeah. Matt Peterson with a look at eyewitness weather. Hey, Matt. I, I'm not going to give anybody a stroke with this weather. It is great out there. It's going to be a day where uh, hopefully you don't have a headache and you don't have to deal with any kind of stress and you can get out and enjoy yourself. Because on our neighborhood network here in Plymouth meeting this morning, while it looks a little bit on the hazy side overall. We are going to have a nice sun filled start to the day and really throughout the afternoon hours expect lots of sunshine. You're going to be really starting to warm things up pretty nicely and we're really going to just have a great, great day to get out and enjoy yourself for our Saturday afternoon. That's a theme that will carry itself through the whole weekend into Sunday as well. The reason for this nice clear skies this morning on storm scan three is high pressure that's in control. It's really been our big story the last couple of days. We've been under this big dome of high pressure that's extending itself all the way from New England back through the Ohio River Valley into the nation's midsection. Basically everywhere that you see some quiet conditions, it's all because that big dome of high pressure. But we are still tracking some showers and storms coming through the Great Lakes right now. That cold front is going to start to dip down through the Great Lakes and then eventually down here into the Delaware Valley as we get towards the middle of the week with some shower and thunderstorm activity then for maybe that Wednesday, Thursday time frame. But here this weekend in Philly, Saturday and Sunday, we're starting to heat things up today. We have mostly sunny skies, a high temperature of 89 degrees, so maybe a tick or two above our seasonable high temperature, but still not too bad. But the 90s do return as early as tomorrow. We're also going to be seeing our humidity start to creep up a little bit tomorrow, and it really ramps back up big time as we get into early next week as we wait for that cold front to slide on through. Usually that's what happens in front of a cold front that approaches from the west. We get that strong southwesterly flow. And that brings in the more warm and the more steamy air. So we'll jump ahead on future weather to two o'clock or excuse me, four o'clock on Tuesday afternoon because there's not going to be a whole lot going on again Saturday and Sunday here in the Philadelphia area and even early next week starting things out on Monday looking pretty quiet, but we could start to see a couple of showers developing in northern areas as early as Tuesday afternoon as that front starts to approach from the north and west. Again, we get that southwesterly wind direction, warm, humid conditions there on Tuesday afternoon. Expect temperatures Tuesday to jump up into what looks to be the lower 90 range, but feeling more like the upper 90s again when you add in all of that humidity. Now on Wednesday, this will be our best chance for showers and storms. The front is going to slowly work its way through, so it's not going to come rushing through. We're not going to be looking like we're seeing any kind of severe weather at this point again because it's just kind of a slow plodding front for the middle of the week, but again, showers, some thunderstorm activity, second half of the afternoon into the evening and overnight hours on our Wednesday. Thursday, we're going to start to see maybe a couple of showers down by the shore and some areas to the south. That's because the front is going to sag to the south and then it's kind of kind of kind of stall out across southern Delaware and back across uh, maybe the Washington DC area. And it all depends on how our Thursday turns out, just depends on how far south this front is able to push and then really where it stalls out or if it continues to move off the coastline. If we're lucky enough to have our future weather here, you can see we get some clear conditions across Philly on Thursday. But if the front doesn't quite make its way all the way off the coastline, could see a couple of showers still lingering across the city here as we get into that second half of the week. So for our uh, Philly's forecast, we're going to be temperatures in the 80s around first pitch at 705. Definitely a good night to take me out to the ball game. Eat your uh, peanuts and cracker jacks. 89 for our high temperature today. Sunshine and 91 tomorrow. Again, that humidity starts to creep on up. Take a look at Monday and Tuesday. There low 90 temperatures, upper 90s for that feels like. And then Jan, there are those thunderstorms with that cold front on Wednesday. All right, Matt, thanks so much.